Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so back at the ranch, um, I'm going to click Browse. Now I have to find where my MP3 files are. And actually, um, all of these are MP3, so I'll just grab one of these. Okay, so I'm going to do this one week to start. I click Open, goes here. I click Upload. It shows me a meter. Okay, so I just now got my MP3 file up. Here it is. See it here? Week to start. Okay. That's how you get the MP3 file into Podbeam. Alright, everybody clear on that? I went to upload. That's all I did. Alright, now I'm going to go to publish and I'm going to make a post and I'm going to incorporate that MP3 file in the post. It's a little bit slow. Alright, so here I am in write post. See where I am? Publish, write post. I'm going to go here. I'm going to put a couple tags. I'm going to put, I don't know, I'll just put ed tag here. Title, week two. And I come down here and I'm going to say this week, blah, 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 etc. Okay, everybody alright with that? Then I'm going to come down here. Now this is really easy. All I have to do is right here where it says no file selected, click on the drop down arrow and I'm going to pick week two start. And I don't have to do anything else. Just come down here and I'm going to save it. And once you save it, you have to also publish it, okay? So it won't get anywhere if you don't publish it. So. Okay, so I saved it, but I did not publish it, so you see it appears here as a draft. This can be kind of confusing, because if you save it, it just kind of goes away. So I'm going to have to click here on week two. And then I'm going to publish it when it finally comes up here. Okay, so I'm going to publish it. Click on publish. And... So once you've saved and published your post, you'll get this message, post saved view site. So I'm going to click on view site, and it takes me to the site. So here it is, the name, what I wrote, hopefully you write something better than that, and this very simple player, mp3 player, okay? Now, I'm going to show you one more thing how to get an embeddable player and the reason you might want a embeddable player is it just looks better. All you have to do is click over here where it says embeddable player, click on that. It will take you to a page away from your site that has various podcast players and the code for them. So look at the different ones and all you got to do is, this one looks like this, and this one looks like this. All you have to do, I'm just going to grab this code here. So I just clicked, then I'm going to copy it. Alright, so I'm going to close this down. Now I have to go back into my podcast in order to add this embeddable player. Oops, sorry. So what I do is I use the back arrow. Just use the back arrow. And I'm running out of time again. See you in the next podcast. I'm sorry, next video.